You have your tray, and then you see the instruments, and then you find that it's not yet clean because here we are doing inspection. So, when you inspect the instruments, and the instruments still need to be clean, you return it back. So, this is the only you can say thing inside the CSSD which is opposite direction. Our own direction is this way, only this window at this side. It's only to return back items which are not clean well. As example, maybe you will see, maybe this is blood. Okay, so this is need to be clean again. How you, you cannot take it through the ocean. So you have to return this back this way. Okay. So when you receive the investments inside the decontamination area, somebody from the OR is coming, or I don't know, maybe you are sending someone from the CSSD. It's up to you, maybe you have elevators. I don't know exactly the situation, but whatever, when we are changing the responsibility of the instruments from the OR to the CSSD, you have the packing list, and then you revise, and then you sign that you receive this instruments, and then you have it here inside the decontamination area. When I am in the decontamination area, I'm wearing all protective PPE, personal protective equipment, I'm wearing the mask, I'm wearing my goggles, I'm wearing everything. Why? Because this is the most contaminated area inside the hospital. So I have to protect myself. Here, I have to protect myself. So when you wear this, you are trying to keep yourself safe from any kind of infection. You wear your gloves and not the normal gloves, thick gloves, and also it's up to your knee here. Sorry, up to your elbow, okay? And then you start to the manual wash for tubular instruments, or what we call it humans, okay? Surface instruments, you can miss that. It's not you can say uh, advisable to do it every time. Why? Because the OSHA can do this. Okay, if you select here P1, okay, it can remove all 
the soil from the inner space field without any erosion. Okay, but you have to check this with soil test and with your instruments. Okay, why? Because sometimes instruments are coming with blood coagulated or dry on the instruments. It depends on how you are, let's say, your standard procedures along with the OR. So as an example, when you receive the instruments from the OR, how do you receive it? We have something elevated to one the system. And how long it will it take from the end of the surgery till you achieve it here? Five ten minutes. Then this is good. If it will be overnight, then you have to put it in enzymatic solution, or you have to spray gel or foam. Still we do. Even this is uh, the decontamination process. What we do is like once you see the instrument, they reach the plain water, it's a cold water, then we start with the soaking in the enzymatic, again we rinse the instrument, then only we do it. This is our problem. Okay, but you all you do all of this here in the system. Yeah. Okay. But in OT once the surgery is completed, we have the three cleansing images. They just okay. Blow down the instrument, so the instrument should be wet, so the instrument is not dry, so it is easy for us to clean. Exactly. The very good word the most said is wet. We need to clean the items wet. As an example, if we are at home and we are cooking, we maybe dinner, cooking dinner, and it's very late and we are very lazy to clean the dish. We put the, the plates in the sink and then we open the tap. Why? To keep the protein okay, the plants wet. Why keeping it wet? Because next day in the morning when you are fresh and then you are cleaning it, it's easy to clean. Okay? If things will get dry, it will be hard for the washer to wash it and it will be hard for you even by doing manual wash. Okay? So, the items to keep wet, how to keep it wet, cover it, okay, maybe there are some kind of transportation boxes, soak it in enzymatic solution, and then remove the items from the enzymatic solution, we never transport items with solutions, because now you are spreading the bacteria, you are not protecting yourself and the people, okay, or for or gel, enzymatic form or enzymatic gel, it do two things, it will cover the instruments, so it will keep wet, and at the same time, the enzymatic solution or the enzymatic itself, it break down the proteins, fats, or whatever, okay? So this is how we do it. And if you can say uh, 10 minutes, even the gel is not that much, but you can do it. what we have is if it's long last for us. Oh yeah, it's even some, some, some companies claim for 72 hours. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that's it's minimum like 40 to 48 hours it can be sold. Yes. But I hope it's not very good. Uh, and the matter, it has to be diluted, right? What you are saying to from, the from the bottle? From the bottle. Which one? The one which is yeah, inside yeah, the machine yeah, or yeah. the gel? No, no, the regular enzymatic. It can be used for manual work also. Uh, maybe for, uh, yeah, you have to read the instruction on it. The MS, yes, on, it's um, almost 5 ml for every liter. Yeah. Okay? It's depending on the brand also. Depending on the brand. So, you get the items. It's supposed to be, you can say, pre treated like gel, like foam, like soaking enzymatic solution, and then you receive it here, along with the packing list, and then you take the items, and then you start to process your instruments. Processing your instruments, you open hinged items, okay? You do manual wash by brushing, okay? But when you are doing manual wash, I see some people, they open the tap and they do like this. This is not manual wash, this is something else, okay? The manual wash that you prepare the same for manual wash, and you do everything under the water. Why? Because I don't want to do brushing like this and then I have everything coming to me. Because all of this spillage of the microorganism will come to me. Okay? So we have the sink. We have to measure the volume of the water inside the sink. Maybe this is in the beginning. Get one liter bottle and put maybe five liters and then put mark on the sink. Then you know that this is five liters. And when you fill the sink in the first time, it has to be warm water. Warm water. Not cold water. I will tell you why. And then, if you put five liters, and then you have the manufacture of the enzymatic solution, you read the, the gallon, and if the, uh, the manufacturer is saying that for every liter put 10 ml, you get some kind of measuring plus, and put 50 ml, because we have five liters. So I put 50 ml, and then I put it inside the whole solution. Why warm? Okay, because if it is cold, it will be like you put water, it will be water. It will be milky. And if it is milky, 
you cannot see inside. And if you cannot see inside, then you put your hand and you get cuts. That's why it has to be almost over than 35 degrees. Why? Because over 35 degrees, we are away from the foaming point of the detergent. And then it will not be foggy or it will not be milky. And that's why it's 35 degrees. So if you want to do the brushing, you do the brushing under the water. And it's mainly for tubular instruments. And if you for surface instruments, again, you do it under the water. Or maybe even soaking is enough if you have a very good, you can say, procedure doing it with the water. So this is the instruments you get it. You have the first thing, maybe it's for rinse. The second one with the detergent. The third one for final rinse with our wood. So maybe you have three sinks, or maybe two sinks, it's up to you, and up to the hospital. So the first one is pre-wash, the second one is wash, the third one is wash. And almost, sorry, all the time, the third one, it has to be the straight wood. Why? I will tell you when we're talking about the wash. You do the manual wash, okay? And then you make sure that everything, as you put it here, everything is open, no shadow, okay? Every time I'm telling the people, when you put the instruments, this is very nice arrangement, honestly saying, very nice arrangement. In other hospital, maybe all of this instruments in the same tray, okay? I put any kind of instruments which can collect water, I put it upside down. I open all hinges, okay? Try to make it 45 degrees as much as possible. So, the, uh, uh, the, the, you can say the water hitting the instruments will have more action, and then we put it inside the ocean center. This ocean is what we call it eight, eight, six, eight, eight, six, 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 eight. eight. Okay, so we take three of these thin trays in, in each ship. So two like this and one like this in every ship. Okay, so you put the instruments, you put inside the machine. Once you put it inside the machine, you have to do it's the spray arm, but this you see is this really moving or not. Why? Because sometimes items which are little bit high, it can stop the movement of the spray arm. So I put the items inside. Every level, I just put like this. You have here one, two. You remove one, three, four, five levels. Okay. Getting the machine, you got a very nice feature for the racks that. You can remove any shelf and any spray arm. You know how to do it. I can see that you remove here one shelf and second shelf. So you remove one, two, three, even. This is six, six levels. One, two, three, four, five, six, six. Okay. So you remove two here. Two levels. levels. You remove two levels. No, three. One, three. Three levels. No, three levels. Yeah. One, one two, two three. three. So in this rack, you can put up till 16 din trays from this five centimeter height, this is the maximum, because there is this instruments, there is some of them are seven, so this one don't accommodate seven unless you remove this kind of shell. So our OP part is very modular, you can remove shells, you can put shells, it's not welded. Other manufacturers welded, so you have to have a lot of OP cards. One is two level, one is three level, one is five level, to have different height, but here getting it, you just remove and then you put here, this block to block the water as you did here. You put one, two, and the third one is here to spray off. So, excellent work. Okay, here in this case, this open cart will only take nine of these trays. Okay, nine of these trays, it's almost half of the capacity because you remove three times. Okay, it's better if you only put this kind of things and you don't have high trays. Use the machine because it will almost use the same amount of water for the same wash cycle. Three, four liter, liters, more or less. So put the other shelf, okay? Why? Because this is some kind of economical use of the machine. And this is for engineers because this machine is taking around from 38 to 42 liters of water in every fill. Every fill take around 38 to 42, it depends on the amount of load. So instead of having the machine working with all of this water for only three, four trays, it's better to wait, okay, since you're using gel and you're doing all of this kind of very good work here inside the hospital, it's better when you work with the machine, work it with full loads to minimize the running cost of the machine, of the detergent, of the water, electricity, and so on, okay? Because everyone wants to turn green now, so we don't want to lose water and electricity and so on.
So you put the items here, as you said, upside down, open, okay? And we have to be a little bit smart people, okay? Because as you can see, I have here one spray arm, two, three, four, and five. And there is one, this is one down, and in every shelf, one up and one down, okay? So which level is getting much water down. So, if I have, as example, okay, if I have, as example, surgery coming from uh, gynecology, okay, this is the most bloody instruments coming to the CSSD, right? And if I have, like, ophthalmology surgery, they have tray ophthalmology, there is almost no blood, right? So, to be smart CSSD technician, put the items with a lot of blood down. Why? Because it's getting too much water and too much detergent. And the highest level, the items which got very less blood. So, the most soil items, put it down. The less soil items, put it down. Orthopedic, gynecology down. Ophthalmology, uh, other things which got no that much blood, put it up here. Okay, and then in this machine, you have pumps which automatic those chemical inside the machine. Okay, do you know the chemicals they're using? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which one? Enzymatic, right? Uh, we are using enzymatic and lubricant. This is a three dosing pump, right? But only we are using two dosing, not two Only two dosing, okay. Here in this machine, you have three dosing pump, means I can inject three automatic, the machine can inject three type of chemicals inside the washing cell. Okay, in your case, you are using enzymatic. Do you have water treatment system here? Uh, this is the full tank system, the water, this is the turbo. No, no, but I'm asking about if you have water treatment. Yeah, 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 yeah. this is fully RO water. Okay, RO water. So it okay. Yeah, it is attached to the RO water. Okay, okay. So, when we are washing, we are removing soil, right? What is the nature of soil in the instruments? Do you have any idea? Nature in this is organic material. Organic material, exactly. What are the type of organic material which we have here? So tissue will get. Blood tissue? Will get. Blood will get. So you can say protein. Okay. Muscle itself is a fat. Fats. Fats. Carbohydrates. Yeah. These are the three main, you can say, composition of soil which we have in our body. Again, fat carbohydrates and protein. So when we are working with enzymatic solution, okay, we must have at least three enzymes in this solution to work on the three types of soil. Why? Because enzymatic solution, it got a very strange, you can say, mechanism to work. It will only work on one soil. So if I have one enzyme, it will only attack one soil. So fat is lipid, okay? Another name of fat is lipid. So the enzyme working on the fats, on the lipid, it's called lipase, okay? And the enzyme work on protein, it's called protease. And the, the, uh, uh, the enzyme working on carbohydrates is called amylase. So these are the composition of the enzymatic solution which we have. The enzymatic solution has to work or to wash almost at 55 degrees and 60 degrees. In this machine, okay, we have pre-wash twice in P1, if you're selecting P1, cycle P1, sure I cannot select from here, everything has to be done from the other side. So if I'm selecting P1, it will make two pre-wash and then wash and then rinse and then rinse and then final rinse, right? So the pre-wash, it has to be done with cold water. Why? And the more cold is the water, the more effective it is. And even in these two rinse, you are removing almost 80% or 85% of the soil. But if it is cold water, why cold water? Because if it is hot, it will coagulate the blood. Then I will make the too much problem for myself by coagulating the blood on the instance. Because in the blood, there is one, uh, you can say, uh, in our blood, there is something called fibrin. And this fibrin, which will cause the blood to coagulate. If you have hot water, it will enhance the coagulation of the blood 
and then it will stick more on the instruments and then we are in trouble. So the first, sometimes you will come and tell me, Sharif, your washer is not washing, especially in the summer. We are maintaining around 12 degrees. Exactly. If we don't have any kind of shell or cooler, yes, you will see, you will have this because maybe in summer, the tap water is 40 degrees away. And then instead that the water will help me to remove the blood, the water will enhance the coagulation of the blood on the instruments and it will be more powerful. Okay, so I wash with cold water, rinse and then rinse. Then I removed almost all visible blood from the instruments. And then I put water and this water will be heated up by the machine. The heaters are here under this strainer. There are heaters here. And then it will start to heat up the water till 55 degrees or 60 degrees, which we call it the washing temperature of this phase. Okay? At 35 degrees, the machine will pump the detergent. So it can be enzymatic detergent. And if you are using RO water, you can use alkaline detergent. What is the meaning of alkaline detergent? It means that it got pH more than 7. But no, we are using a little bit more. We are talking here about... 11. pH is almost 11 to 12. Why alkaline? Why alkaline detergent? Any idea? So is there any other thing? Yes, we have acidic detergent. So what acidic detergent will do and what alkaline detergent will do? Stain. It will stain. Acidic detergent will stain. Alkaline detergent will? Okay. What is the nature of our soil coming from our body? It's acidic or alkaline? Acidic. acidic. Okay, so our soil is acidic. To work on acidic soil, organic, organic soil, you need alkaline. So if, this is not for you to do it, but just as a joke, okay? If I kill someone and I want to get rid of the body, I put it in caustic soda or in, uh, Acid. What do you want to do with the body? Yes. Okay. Dissolve it. I don't want the police to catch me. I want to get rid of the body. You put on, in acid or alkaline? Acid. Alkaline. You put in caustic soda. Why? Because it will dissolve your flesh, your blood, everything, even your bones. Okay? Not in acid. Another thing, if you have kettle at home, every time you are filling it with water, you have this white powder. To get rid of this white powder, what you are using? Uh, vinegar. To get rid of this, try it at home. If you have kettle, put some water and put some vinegar in it and just keep it a little bit, not for boiling. And then you will find that all of these white things are coming inside the water and then it flows. Why? Because the vinegar is acidic. So the acidic is getting rid of non organic stuff. So to get rid of organic soil, I use alkaline detergent. To get rid of non-organic soil, I use acidic detergent. So if I have rust here, okay, if I have my instruments are rusty, or if I have white color on the instruments, then you use acidic detergent. You can call MPC. Hello guys, I need neutralizer. Yes. And then we add a pump to neutralize it. But mostly we don't use any alkaline uh, because it is a very dangerous for the instrument. The lifespan of the instrument will entirely be changed. So okay. Boss is right. Okay. If it is not stainless steel, as example containers. Why, if you need to use alkaline detergent, you have to read the instruction of use of each and every instrument you have. Why? Because mainly, mainly aluminium cannot tolerate alkaline detergent. So people are making it easy for themselves and use enzymatic detergent. But enzymatic detergent is not as example used in Europe. It, it depends. But it's effective as much as alkaline. But if you want to use this or use this, at least you understand the combination of detergent. Because every time I'm going inside CSSD, the main problem that you are... Nowadays, there is an available in the market, uh, alkaline-based uh, enzymatic, that the pH level of the alkaline is very low. So yes. that can be used. But still, uh, as theoretically, but the instrument, depending on the instrument material, what we are choosing, on that one only we can use it. Most are very informative. 
We are very, very informative. Every time I'm going inside CSSD, people they don't know what combination of detergent used inside the machine. Because and this is very, very important role which it is to man with the honestly the ocean is not doing anything. The ocean just reflects anything the ocean. it can be done about the instrument. If you don't do the first phase properly, the instrument lifespan is entirely exactly. Wrong. Exactly. So the combination of detergent and the use of detergent it really depends on the type of soil. The water you have here is at the CSSD and what how many pumps you have and what combination you need. As example of working sometimes with carbon stores in some kind of presentations and so on, the instruments manufacturer they recommend the use of neutralizer in every cycle. Why? Because of something called passive layer, which we'll speak about it later. Okay? So you have the instruments. Okay, first of all, at the beginning of the day, try to get now I'm talking to you about the operation of the machine. Beginning of the day, get out this cleaner. If it is not clean and clean it. Check the level of the detergent, okay, and then start the machine. The machine doesn't need any kind of heating up. It's not like the sterilizer. We don't have jacket here, so you can keep it on and then it will go in standby mode, or keep it off and just open it when you use it. It's up to you, okay? Why? Because nothing here is preparing before the cycle unless you have the booster tank which you have, which will fill the water. But this is at the beginning of the cycle, not even in standby mode. So the machine in standby mode is not doing anything. It just on, okay? So I put the instruments, okay, and every week I have to get out the spray arms and clean them. Why? Because if you look at these spray arms, you will find holes. These holes can be blocked. Especially with this delicate burst, you call it burst. This is very small things. Sometimes it's go inside the water and it's not filtered by this filter, it go inside the circulation. And every time I'm going to dental hospital, if we are washing dental instruments, I found that this roof they have birds, the birds. Yeah, most of the hospitals. And sometimes there. even people are putting some jars and they have labels on it, and also the water is going, sorry, the paper is going, and also blocking this hose. It's very easy to remove this one from this screw. Just remove the, the nut here, remove this one from it, and this two stainless steel. You can say stoppers. Let's do it like this. Remove the plastic and then put it under the tap water or with the spray gun. But we need to put first. Okay, this is you do it at least every week. And if by inspection you find any of these holes are blocked because of any kind of label, any kind of birds, any kind of small instruments, or sometimes even threads. Uh, in, in this, in my career, I saw a lot of things inside the ocean. Okay. That knows. Sometimes even parts from the machine is inside. It's mainly so it's depending on the water quality. If the water quality is not that good, because from the water only the material comes and like for example minerals, mineral deposit will be more where you can see yes. in the holes. Yes. So in that case But believe me, some yeah, yeah, I, 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 are more than I definitely agree with you. More than the scales. Okay? How I will get to know every time I'm coming inside the hospital that you are using our water, I get to know that you are using our water without asking because I look inside the ocean. <laughs> if it is mirror, you use our water. If you are not using our water, it will be white from inside. So stop. You can see the glass and the stainless yes. steel now. It's if like... it is glass like this, if it is like mirror, it's okay. You are using good quality water. And not only on the machine, your machine and your industries. Exactly. Okay? So, you put the, you check the spray bonds, I check the strainer, I put the instruments. In the beginning of the day, I checked the level of the detergent if it needs to fill. Okay, and then I start the cycle according to my need. P1, P2, P3, according to if I do manual wash, no need for P1. It's too long. If I didn't do manual wash, I can use P1. So it's up to you to select which side. The machine, if it is with booster tank, will take about 42 minutes. Okay, 40 to 42 minutes, which is very good. Okay, and at the end of the cycle, this door will open automatic, waiting for you to unload. For sure, okay, the phases of the machine, the machine is called what? What is the name of this machine? No, 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 let me get the one. This is our, our company, but what is it? Ocean? Yes. Ocean disinfector. So, this machine is doing two things. Remove any visit, visual, visual soil on the instruments, make it clean and disinfect. That's why if you do a very good hand hygiene here in this packing area, 
he don't hurt us. Why? Because you are not afraid that you will infect, sorry, the innocence will infect you. Here, it's opposite. We are afraid that you, as CSSD technician, infect the innocence. And, so if you are wearing gloves here, if the boss is telling you wear gloves here, he's not afraid that you get infection. He's afraid that you infect the instance. But if I use this after manual wash, because manual wash is only wash, I didn't kill, again, I didn't kill any microorganism. So if you do manual wash and you transfer the items from this one here, then there is risk for your infection. And any surface you put this instance on it, it's also infected surface and it can cause infection other instances. You got the idea? Yes. That's why this one is for reverse. Unless there are very high, as example, this, what drill? Drill bits. Or the drill bits. itself. Drill. I don't know. Oh, this. manual washing. Not only the drill, the telescopes, the retroscopes, this all will be in the manual wash only because we cannot be using any washer disinfectant. You, you, you can wash it here, there is scopes, you can wash it here. Right? Yeah, there is certain brands, it cannot be used. The urotroscope definitely, none of the urotroscope cannot be washed in the washer disinfectant because it has a 0, 0 0.2 micro microfibers. So if you put, because of this pressure, there is a chance of breaking. So while they are doing the surgery, there will be a like um, invisible of the quality of this in this one. And same thing, uh, Again, the telescope, rigid telescope. All the rigid telescope can be going in the washer disinfector, except the um, orthopedic arthroscopies. There are few arthroscopic which cannot be processed in the washer disinfector. So we need to look into the brands what we are actually processing. It's very very important for the technicians what they have looking at, whether it can be processed or not. Same thing, batteries as such. Batteries are very, very important. You cannot immerse, you cannot dip. You need to only clean. You only remove, you are not only just disinfecting. You are not killing also, just only disinfecting. So in disinfecting, all kind of microorganisms only kill, but still there is a chance of spores is alive. Because mostly it is used on the orthopedic, it's fully bred area, and when it is removed, what we do is we use certain kind of enzymatic tools, but we are not doing in a higher that is the time only the microorganisms also kill. But here, what we do is only the cleaning. No, this carry wraps are not supposed to use for that one. There are certain detergents, it can be used for that one. There are certain sprays, it can be used for that one. But why are not you this, this is for the this is what this, this, for is the, this is the disinfection for only the, the, for the, the, wire, for the wire. and the tables and the surfaces. It cannot be used for the instruments. It's there. Okay. So, and there is certain temperature for this also. The, the temperature has to be maintained on the instrumentation. <laughs> so it's very, very important. Otherwise, the microorganisms will remain inside. And here, it's, we need to think whether we use the infection. That we should really maintain. I'm oh, sorry, sir. No worries, no worries. Thank you. Thank you for the addition. Okay. So, this machine, as we said, as Dr. said, motion disinfectors. So, I do two things. One is motion. Second one is disinfection. What I'm using for disinfection in IP? Do you put this infection here? Do we have something like this inside? This infection inside the machine? What do I use it to disinfect? Any idea? So the complete name of this thermal motion. So I'm using hot water. So I clean in the beginning using sabun, soap, okay, detergent, okay, and then I rinse. And then I put RO water. What is RO water? Is water free of everything, microbes, and even any kind of minerals. There is nothing in it. Okay, it's H2O. Okay, this is the RO. And at the end, I put RO water. I raise the temperature of RO water to 90 degrees at least for one minute. With microbiology, 90 degrees for one minute, it will co kill all microorganisms, excluding spores. Again, all microorganisms, excluding spores. What are spores? Bacteria, which are get rid of the water inside it and become like stone, and it will resist heat and everything. This is will get rid of it inside the stone. But the washer is killing everything, excluding 
spores. Okay, so 90 degrees, one minute, or 90 degrees, five minutes. What is the difference? 90 degrees, five minutes will kill hepatitis B and uh, hepatitis C. Another thing, and I believe uh, TB. Spirals? TB. Spirals? TB. 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 Yep. Yeah. So this is what will not be killed in yeah, 90 five, minutes. Five minutes, uh, the prions can be killed, but still. Uh, not the prion, not the prions. TB, the tuberculosis. The tuberculosis. Yes. So hepatitis B and tuberculosis cannot be killed 90 minutes, 90 degrees for one minute. One minute. But it will be killed 90 degrees for five minutes. So it's up to you if you want to keep it 90 degrees for one minute to save time, because you maybe don't have cases of TB or hepatitis B or... But it is good always to do have a two process like Certo, like P1 and P2. Always P1 is a long process. Yes. So we make it as five minutes. So to kill all, we don't know what is infected, what is not infected. Which comes in the yellow bag, we can decide that it is a tuberculosis or it is a hepatitis B or hepatitis C. So what we do is we process in P1. And the regular cycle which we process in the P2. So that we have made a differentiate, not to completely, uh, in the, at the end of the time we need to change. Because most of the technicians will not know, be aware to change the process of the temperature because it's only the engineer has yes, to come and say yes, it. Exactly. So exactly. that is also very, very important in CSRG. So setting the temperature about what actually we require. Okay. So setting up the temperature is not done by you. You have to call MPC and then an engineer will come with laptop. He will just start again programming and so on. We can increase. Yes, you can decrease. No. If you decrease, then the responsibility is coming out of this company you. <laughs> so it's better to leave the responsibility only. Yeah. And for my medical engineers, please stop putting this kind of custom cycle, custom cycle, nothing is custom in the same No custom. No custom. No smooth. No custom needs.